questions are mounting. Come to think of it, Quint, the first witness, has no alibi for Becky's death. We checked the phone records and his call definitely came from her house. Is it possible he attacked Becky and then called us from the scene? But everyone is suspicious one way or another. Even me. What should we do next, Zach? Okay, who's the most suspicious? York. Uh... Nick? No, I don't think so, Zach. He's certainly suspicious, but there is... Trying to remember what I know at the end, and, like, what I know as of now, or what I'm supposed to know now. I guess it's Diane. That's right. Becky's sister and Carol's enemy, linked to both Nick and Kaysen, the elegant owner of the art gallery. Zach, that's our next move. We'll start with Diane. And then we'll move on to Nick. Oh, yeah. So, you want to find out everything there is to know about Diane? That's right. There's just too many things that we don't know. First, we need more intel about the relationship between Nick and Diane. How? Nick and Diane meet every night at the bar. Let's use that. George, Sounds we'll like someone's cheating! What do you mean? Wait in the parking lot of the art gallery and tail Diane when she leaves. If she goes anywhere other than the bar, you let me know. Emily, you take the diner. Wait for Nick and tail him to the bar, too. This doesn't sound like a really good George, use of police else, uh, you let me know. Okay. funds. Thomas. Or whatever they call him. Keep a watch on them inside the bar. Y yes. Yes, I will. I'll be waiting in the parking lot of the bar. Drinking. Once heavily. Nick and Diane are together, I will follow them wherever they go. What time do they usually show up, Thomas? Around Eight. the same time. Usually between 22 and 2300. Then at that time we do it, boys and girls. Sounds like I'm smoking. Yep, yep, yep. I know. Come on, out with it. We still got some time left. Yes, I would like to say thank you for asking and being so cordial. You are a scholar and a gentleman. Zach, we need to be at Carol's bar at 2200. Looks like we have some time to kill. We can go to the diner and see how Nick and Olivia are doing. Or we can go back to the hotel and rub one out. You want to watch, Zach? Are you a dirty little watcher? Yeah, I bet you like watching, don't you, Zach? Out there somewhere is somebody watching this called Zach. He's like, mm -hmm. <laughs> no, yes, yes. All Zachs like to watch. It's statistical. Uh. Oh, you want something to eat? You fucking bastard. All right, well, let's go get some food, I guess. Because I don't actually have any. So, we should probably fill up our bellies. And run over Kaysen. Zach, is there something here that you want to check out? We need to be at Carol's Bar at 2200. Oh, you know we will. I just, I, I have a really bad like feeling about this so I'm gonna save just in case because who knows what's gonna happen when I uh, go out of there god I have eight thousand dollars or is that supposed to be like yen do I have eighty dollars because that would make more sense uh, can, can I get something to eat what the fuck did she just put that? I 
I want the $30 pie. Hmm. 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 Uh, do you have anything to drink? No? Uh, I will take another $30 pie. Hmm. 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 At least we're not hungry anymore. We're just really, really tired. I don't know how to alleviate that. Unless I actually... No, not the map. Not the map. Not the map. I th yeah, okay, I do still have some coffee. Oh, that was it. Why would root beer... Root beer doesn't have caffeine in it. You know, I, you know what? I'm not even gonna... Not even gonna question it. I don't even care. Mm, 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 look at that fucking ham. God, that ham gets me wet. Okay, so I guess we just... Sit here for a while. Y yay. Well, that's not that far. It's just a few hours. We could do that race for no apparent reason, which I think actually just opens up the gate. So I can get that card. If I cared. Okay, so let's... Cause irreparable damage to my lungs and uh, smoke for a little bit. There's 21. I say 21 and 22. No, but I guess not yet. Let's keep smoking. There we go. Mission time. Nick's still in the bar. Just as we planned then. I wonder what happens next. So we got some time, don't we, Emily? Agent York, you're really enjoying this, aren't you? I have to admit, I envy that. You just smoked! Why do you need to keep smoking? It's no wonder you can't fucking run away from the raincoat killer. You're in horrible shape. Probably, probably from smoking all the goddamn time. Agent York, Nick is leaving the bar. What about Diane? She isn't here tonight. Emily, check that with George. George, can you hear me? Nick's leaving the bar. What's happening with Diane? No movement. Tell me what to do here. Kill yourself. Stay put, George. I'm thinking Nick will head to the gallery. Let's meet up there. 10-4. Copy that. Agent York, it's Nick. He looks drunk or high or possessed. Oh, I thought Nick got in my car. Let's go. Hey, saw you guys staking okay. me out. Time to play with the big boys, Nick. This is probably the only real part of the game that I am not a huge fan of. Uh, and one thing to know about me is I hate tailing missions, and that's part of the a huge reason why I absolutely hated the land missions in Assassin's Creed 4 because like half of them were fucking tailing missions. Not like bad in essence, it's just I don't it's such a lazy concept of development. It's like, well, here's a here's a character and I want you to follow it for an 
a determined period of time. You know, in and of itself, it's not a bad idea, but when you use that as, like, maybe a third of your mission structure, probably, probably safe to say you're just fucking lazy. Or rushing your game out. Luckily, this is the only tailing mission in the game. Uh, it just... I wish he'd drive faster, because we have a long way to go. And this is probably going to be the, the rema remainder of the video. And I, I don't even know what happens if I drive closer to him, but I'm going to stay back in this 50 range and blare my horn. God, Nick, he, I, 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 I don't, I don't even know what to say. He just drives like old people. Fuck. I could get out and get that card, and probably still have time to catch up to him. I just, I don't know. This is my one gripe about this game, is this this stupid tailing mission that does not need to be here at all. They could have had this be a cutscene, honestly. Or, you know, maybe even throw in some dialogue, so I don't have to talk this whole time. <laughs> You're just sitting, sitting here, sitting here watching me play? Well, well, watching me play. Hey, Fred, you gonna watch me play? <laughs> I'm just gonna embarrass myself if I try to do Fred's voice. Oh my God, Nick! Seriously, you can pass somebody. I'm going to take this turn as slowly as possible. I still haven't gotten a warning that I'm too close. Apparently Nick just doesn't fucking care that, you know, a cop has been following him for the past few miles. Um... If I remember correctly, it's at the second fork in the road. Not the first one that the cutscene appears. That's pretty jaunty music for uh, a tailing mission. You'd think it'd be a little more daring, a little more John Williams-y. I don't know. I also feel if that car in front of him wasn't actually there, it would be going a lot quicker. Or if he knew he was being tailed, he, he may go quicker. Or may not go to the gallery at all. But we'll never know because uh, Nick will never know that I'm behind him. Because apparently he does not have a uh, rearview mirror. Or peripheral vision. Or 2020 vision. I'm, I'm half tempted to speed this up just for my benefit. I mean, obviously, I can't speed it up now. I'm just saying, like, in 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 editing. Way to go, Nick. The video is going to be a little longer than normal because of your wanton, uh, reckless abandonment of the rules. I want wontons now. That's a thing, right? Wontons? If you want me to shut up, press 1 on your phone. No! No! I think he noticed us. How can you stay calm at a time like this? We've just failed. No need to worry. Nick will do this all again tomorrow night. I pushed it accidentally. How can you be so sure? If he breaks his daily pattern just because he saw us tonight, then that would mean he's up to no good. 
We can question him then. He'll be at the bar. I'll bet dinner on him. You sound very confident. All right then, we'll try again tomorrow. I'll let George know that we're trying again tomorrow. So, we have to do all this again tomorrow? Yeah. That's right. Looks like Nick gets Shit. to play with the big boys for another day. Way to fucking go me. <laughs> okay. Well, um, we're going to do that next time. And hell, maybe I'll even just show up at the art gallery to spare you of that uh, indecency. So, next time on Deadly Premonition, we follow Nick. Or maybe not. Maybe we'll just go and have a smoke. How about that? Hmm? 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 Okay. Bye-bye, everybody!